Let's take a look at this example. Again, we are going to redraw the circuit first. Please notice that this time we have written negative 15 volts. It means that the power supply is connected to the cathode of my silicon diode by negative terminal. Okay, so this is negative, this is positive terminal, and this is my voltage source, which has 15 volts. So I can erase this 15 in order to avoid the confusion. Please keep in mind that we use the conventional current flow, so it means that the voltage source, we can say, is going to push the current from positive terminal to negative. So, theoretically, current is going to flow this way, okay, counterclockwise, okay? So, please notice that direction of my current is going to be the same as the direction of the arrowhead of the diode symbol, okay? I mean, germanium diode and silicon diode, okay? So, we can say that these two diodes are going to be forward biased. Why? Because the direction of current match the direction of two arrowheads and the voltage source is, is high enough in order to make this uh, circuit uh, functioning. So, we said current is going to flow, so anytime current is entering the component, I'm supposed to write positive sign, and anytime it's leaving negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. First, we are going to find output voltage 1. Please notice that if you are going to go uh, counterclockwise okay, to the ground, you are not going to see any resistors. So, it means that our uh, calculations of V out 1 are going to be very simple. You're supposed to use uh, KVL for V out 1. V out 1 is equal positive right, transition voltage across the germanium diode plus transition voltage across the silicon diode minus voltage source and you are going to reach the ground. This is going to be your V out 1. So we have one more time V G E because I'm seeing positive sign. Okay, I'm going this way so I have positive sign and I have plus V S I and I have minus voltage source, okay? So this is equal, VGE is equal 0.3 volts plus 0.7 volts minus 15 volts. So V out 1 is equal negative 14 volts, okay? So the voltage which you would measure between this point, V out 1, and ground is going to be negative 14 volts. Okay, we found V out 1. Next, we're supposed to find the V out 2 and we're supposed to find the current. Please notice that in the circuit we are going to have just one current. So, we can write simply that my I total is equal to I silicon, okay, the current which goes through the silicon diode. This is also equal to the current which goes through the germanium diode, okay? So, this is also the current which goes through resistor R1 and this is also the current which goes through resistor R2 because this is the series circuit. So, what we're supposed to do next? Please notice that V out 1, V out 1, is the voltage from this point to ground, and also this is the voltage which appears across these two resistors, okay? V out 1 is the voltage which appears across these two resistors. So, we can write that I total in this circuit is equal V out 1, over the sum of these two resistors. 
So I can write R1 plus R2. Okay? This is equal. V out 1, we said this is negative 14 volts over R1, 2 kilo ohms, plus 1.2 kilo ohms. Okay? This is Ohm's law. So I total is equal negative 4.37 milliamps, okay? But don't forget that I total represents the current which goes through each diode, the current which goes through each resistor, because this is the series circuit. Okay, so we found, we found V out 1, we found the currents which go through the diodes, now we're supposed to find V out 2. Please notice that V out 2 is the not, it's nothing else just the voltage across resistor R2. Okay? Why? Because R2 is connected between the output terminal, right? 2 and the ground. So if you are going to find the voltage across this resistor, automatically you are going to have voltage at the output 2. So I have V out 2 is equal V R2. And again, I'm going to use Ohm's law. Voltage is equal current times resistance. So I'm supposed to write that this is equal I total, I can say, times R2, where I total is equal negative 4.37 milliamps times R2, 1.2 Kilo ohms, this is equal negative 5.24 volts. Okay, so this is my V out 2. And now we can say that the problem is solved.